Paris in winter. Cold outside, but warm inside. And after a great meal, only one thing is lacking. Or is it? Forgive me, Mademoiselle Ivanova. An old friend waylaid me. Vestiaire. Excuse me. Are you Miss Ivanova's driver? Yes. She would like to see you for a moment. I assure you, Mademoiselle Ivanova, my husband would be most interested. And discreet? Absolutely. He'll be back in Paris first thing tomorrow. Call him. I will. Thank you. Can I give you a lift? Uh, no, thank you. No, I got my car. Good night. Good night. Uh, oh, do you think you have some small change, please? I say, I uh, am sorry about the... I thought it was meant for me. But my intuition does tell me you are a damsel in distress. I beg your pardon. Oh, deserted and alone in a wicked city like Paris. I'm neither deserted nor in distress. But you are alone. I'm alone because I choose to be. Is that clear, Mr. Simon Templer? Sorry, it's the, uh... Yes, I knew it's the petrol line from the tank. It comes adrift. <laughs> Not in distress, eh? Not deserted and uh, not alone either. Oh, thanks to you, nothing happened. Nothing, just a slight case of kidnapping. What about him? He's all right. He's just doped. He is one of us. My chauffeur. Mr. Templer, if you are still willing to help me, oh, I would be awfully grateful. I, I don't drive. If you would drive my car home for me. A pleasure. Where to? It's in the country. A 30 kilometer outside Paris. I asked for it. <laughs> Then off you go to bed. Mademoiselle, they may find out about this house. They may come here. Would it not be better to go Hans, and meet go to bed. Do you think you'll call a cab for me? Let me offer you a drink first. 
Thank you. Poor old Hans. He is such a warrior. I can't imagine why. Working for a nice, uncomplicated girl like you. It is true they may come. I don't think they followed us, but it's possible. Mr. Templer, would you stay the night? With uh, no toothbrush and no gun? Well, I can lend you a toothbrush. You won't need a gun. By tomorrow lunchtime, it will be finished. I will have disposed of what they're after. And uh, just what are they after? A body, the crown jewels, dope. Look valuable. They are. Three hitherto unknown Leonardo da Vinci's. They're worth at least a million dollars. Yours? Mine. I'm going to sell them tomorrow. I know you picked them up for a song in a little place on the left bank. No. The right bank? No. They were left to me by my father. We are white Russians. They're part of a collection that my grandfather smuggled out of Russia during the revolution. Well, uh, who's the lucky buyer? The most respected art dealer in Paris, Marcel Legrand. So, if you have any doubts as to my ownership, that should satisfy you. Marcel Legrand does not buy stolen paintings. Agreed. So if they're yours and this is a legitimate sale, why all the cloak and dagger business? Oh, there are certain people who are trying to steal them from certain me. Certain people such as who? Oh, oh, it does sound crazy, but I don't know. So they are not stolen. They're your paintings. This is a legitimate sale, and someone is trying to steal them, but you don't know who. That's right. Then why don't you go to the police? Uh, many reasons. OK. Try me with one. I don't like the police. I wish to avoid the publicity. Do I shock you? No, you, uh, you fascinate me. Fascinate? Why? Oh, many reasons. Try me with one of them. It'll keep till morning. And you stay. Good. I just go get the guest room ready. Now I'm shocked. <laughs> yes, Mademoiselle Ivanova. My wife gave me all the details. Then I can expect you about midday? Excellent. Oh, uh, you understand, the transaction has to be absolutely secret. Of course, of course. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Three unknown Leonardo da Vinci's. <laughs> I cannot believe it. And if it is true? If it is true, then you shall have a Sable coat, my love. Uh, excuse me, Monsieur Legrand? Sure. My name is Mathieu, Inspector Mathieu, of Special Branch. Madame? Yes, what can I do for you, Inspector? The police are anxious to interview a woman who we believe may approach you regarding the sale of three previously unknown Leonardo da Vinci paintings. Surely you joke, Inspector. Oh, why, Monsieur? Three unknown Leonardos, it would be. A miracle. <laughs> Maybe. Nevertheless, we believe the paintings exist, and we believe the approach will be made. Well, I certainly hope you are right. Now, if this woman does uh, try to contact you, I hope... In that case, I would certainly get in touch with you. Thank you. With your permission, I will check with you again tomorrow. As you wish. Good morning. Good morning, madame. Shouldn't you have told him? Why? You have a reputation to think of, my dear. And if the paintings are stolen? If the paintings are stolen, I shall certainly inform the police. But remember, if they are genuine, and if the sale is legal, I can make a fortune. Well, it's nearly 12, so we shall soon find out. Goodbye, Cherie. I shall pray for you, and for the sable.
found out where he was going? Of course. The girl's expecting him at noon. Here's his wallet and papers. Good. You will not be harmed, Monsieur Legrand. But it is necessary that I impersonate you. And his checkbook? Ah, yes. I will need that. Marcel Legrand for Mademoiselle Ivanova. Come in, monsieur. You expect it. Monsieur Legrand. Monsieur Legrand, nice of you to come all this way. I'm delighted to see you. For three Leonardos, mademoiselle, I would go around the world. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, genuine? Absolutely. Uh, Monsieur... Templar, Simon Templar. It takes my breath away. Three unknown Leonardos. I don't know what to say. Say one million two hundred fifty thousand dollar. We may haggle, mademoiselle, but I don't think we shall quarrel. Let us get started, then. Uh, Simon, in the box room, there's a crate I'd specially made for the pictures. Uh, would you pack them away? Hans will help you. Certainly. Uh, Monsieur Legrand, I am cursed with a naturally suspicious mind. You do have proof of identity. <laughs> I was wondering when someone was going to ask me that. Sorry. I don't apologize. We are not dealing here with trinkets. Well, I'll uh, get these crated. Happy haggling. Now then, mademoiselle, you mentioned a figure which I think is a little too ambitious. Let me hear from you, then. Ah, thank you, Hans. All I need now is a hammer and some nails. Yes, sir. I'll get them. Of course I will make a profit. That's why I'm in business. But you must realize that I may have to sit around for months until the right buyer comes along. And then I'll have to pay out interest on all the money I have laid out. Very well, then. $893,000. Done. All right, Hans, tell him it's in. Yes, Mr. Templer. Come in. The crates are Monsieur Legrand's car. Thank you, Hans. And what will you do with all this money? Live foolishly and marry for love. <laughs> there you are, mademoiselle. <gasps> I'm rich. Yes. Yes, you are, mademoiselle. <gasps> mademoiselle, this has been an unforgettable experience. Uh, thank you, monsieur, for everything. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, mademoiselle. Yes, it went like clockwork. Where is the trunk? Upstairs. Well, let's get it down here then, shall we?
Here's food. I don't want any. When are you going to let me out of here? Did you know where I was? Explanation is later. First, we get you out of here. I want you to go to the police, tell them everything. And get back to your house as fast as you can. I'll contact you later tonight. Go on. time. I've been kidnapped, assaulted, impersonated. Monsieur, monsieur, take it more slowly, please, sir. Uh, look, uh, get inside my car. You can tell me all about it. Thank you. Not bad. We have to remove the frames. Where's that Gunther? Is he telling the ground bedtime stories? Come. Oh, it doesn't weigh much, huh? Yet won't. What we are carrying is solid gold. <laughs> Disappointing, isn't it? Ah, ah. More hardware? How about you? I know you were expecting three Leonardos. You'll just have to make do with one Templar. How did you get here? Oh, I was uh, right behind you all the way, almost breathing down your neck. How about the hair? No, no, no! Now, I've known Marcel Legrand for years, so why don't you tell me who you are? I tell you nothing. Oh, I've got it. You're expecting help from Gunther. Don't you recognize his gun? Why don't we join him? The cellar. Open it. In. Mr. Templer? Inspector Mathieu, this is Sergeant Bernard. Uh, Monsieur Legrand sent us. That was quick. Uh, we were watching this place. Oh, there is plenty to see. Where is Legrand? Oh, we sent him home. He was shaking like a jelly. Where is uh, the man who impersonated him? Locked up downstairs with uh, some friends. Oh. By the way, these are Legrand's papers. Oh, thank you. Any idea what this is all about? Oh, uh, a case of thieves falling out. Thieves? Yes, the uh, girl on one side and uh, these people on the other. Natasha Ivanova is a thief. <laughs> she is not Natasha Ivanova. She is no more Russian than I am. No, her name is Gottfried, and she's German. The, um, the paintings uh, they are in here. Well, they should be, but uh, they're not. Ah. Uh, they're not there either. <laughs> Where are they? The back of the house, in a cupboard in the box room. Does the girl know that? No, she doesn't know a thing. Ah, you are a resourceful man, Mr. Templer. Well, uh, let us see these villains. So the pictures didn't come from Russia at all? No, the pictures did. The girl did not.
Please do not come too quickly. We may get out of here. Then hurry! His work was finished. Without saying goodbye, he has not even got a car. Oh, it's so strange. <sighs> Mademoiselle Natasha Ivanova. Uh, yes? Inspector Mathieu, please, special branch. Uh, may we come in? Well, I don't Thank think... you. Uh, uh, perhaps in the, uh, in the salon. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, what is it? I understand that you were visited by Monsieur Marcel Legrand this morning. Yes, that is perfectly true. And you sold him some paintings? Yes, my paintings. Oh, the ownership of the paintings is uh, not yet in question, mademoiselle. Oh, what is? I regret to have to tell you that um, Monsieur Legrand was uh, murdered today. Murdered? He was killed in his car on a lonely country road. I can't believe it. His wallet, his checkbook. I see he paid you a very large sum of money. The paintings. An empty crate, no paintings. They got them. Murder. I never dreamt they would go that far. They? I have some enemies who are after their paintings. They must have killed him. No, no, no. We have arrested the man who killed him. He has confessed. Who? His name is Simon Templer. What? He was unlucky. The murder was uh, witnessed by some woodsmen. They uh, chased him and... Uh, Got him. So they must have found the paintings, too. No. According to Templer, he never put the paintings in the car. They are still uh, here, in this house. I don't understand at all. It makes no sense. He intended to kill Legrand and then come back here for the pictures. Perhaps you are very lucky to be alive. I don't believe it. Well, it is very easy to find out. Let us go and see where he said that he uh, put them. Uh, in a cupboard... Uh, in the box room. Shall we go? You wait here. A thousand times I tell her, do not trust strangers. <laughs> Your property is safe, mademoiselle. Well, come, you should be happy here. Another dealer will be glad to buy them. It's just that... Well, Simon Templer seems so... Let me tell you something, as a policeman. Never be taken in by appearances. You're absolutely right. What are you doing? Oh, I am uh, taking the pictures into police custody. But they belong to me. Quite so. If you would like to accompany them, uh, you can spend the night in custody yourself. There is no reason for this. The pictures are my property. But, mademoiselle, you must understand my position. A murder has been committed. A murder for these paintings, which are technically in your possession. Take them to the car. Be careful, you could damage them. Oh, uh, put the car all over them. Don't worry, madame. I will give you a receipt, and you can come and reclaim them. You can rest assured that they will be absolutely safe with the surety.
Your receipt for the pictures. Oh, when will I get them back? We will let you know. You will be needed for identification purposes uh, when Templar is formally charged in uh, two or three days' time. Uh, you're not uh, going away, mademoiselle. How, how can I without those pictures? Oh, yes, well, au revoir, mademoiselle. Come, Bernard. You can put the car away, Hans. Yes, mademoiselle. I'll unpack later. I can't believe it. Simon a murderer. Let this be a lesson. I'll never trust anybody again. Not in my whole life. Are talking to me. You killed Marcel Legrand. Nobody killed Marcel Legrand. He's at home, safe and sound. If you don't believe me, you can call him. And that wasn't Legrand that came here this morning. You're, you're lying. Gospel truth. But what the police, the inspector told oh, me. Oh, he wasn't a real inspector either. What? A fake. I gave him the paintings. You are a silly girl, aren't you? Why not try the roses? Damsel in distress, you said. You're behind the whole thing. Oh, oh, oh. May I get you a towel? Beast! That does it. Does it? Oh! If, you, if you minded your business. Oh, now you wait. Wait. Wait now. Party over. Oh, no, leave me alone. <laughs> All right, uh, but before I go, I would like to leave you with something to remember me by. <laughs> Simon. Well, just sit there. Up to Daisy. <gasps> You, you are a moody girl, aren't you? <laughs> Shut the brow! Sforge! Those men, monsieur, if they come back. I say we're headed south. Don't worry, Hans. I will sell the pictures, and we will have more money than we know what to do with. <laughs> Thieves. Running. Hiding. I hid my car here when I saw you had visitors. You think of everything. All the time. I had hoped they'd get to Paris before they found out. What can we do? Spike a few guns. You wait here. You're not dealing with amateurs, old man. Where did they go? South. That is all I know. With the pictures? No, I... I didn't see any pictures. Cam, we will search the house. Constabulary deflated. Now where? 
uh, gas. Marcel Lagrange. Mm-hmm. For some instant money. Mm. Oh, Simon, you're a divine man. I bet you say that to all the boys. Where would I be without you? An interesting question. You know there are two lots of people after these pictures. Two? The first lot's German, and our flat tire friends are Russian. You're not by any chance in a white Russian's little black book, are you? What did I know of? Natasha, a beige to varish lubash. Simon, oh, I bet you say that to all the girls. Never before, I swear. I don't suppose you'd like to marry me? No, but uh, I am open to all other suggestions. You think Simon will come? He always keeps his word. I long to meet him. You don't count your sables yet, Sherry. Do you really think I care about the sable coat? I know that you do not. That is why you shall have one. <laughs> if the Leonardos really exist. Which they may not. With women, Simon is infallible. With art, he's an amateur. <laughs> Speak of the devil. car around to the side. Who is in the house? No one. You are alone? Marcel. Please keep quiet, Madame Legrand, and you will not be heard. I do not know what you want, monsieur, but I beg you. My husband has a heart condition and a severe shock. Like then I suggest he cooperate. Has Templar been here? No. But you expect him? I do not know. We do. He will come here with the paintings and this girl, and you are going to help us. I do not understand. with madame. You will act completely normally. You will examine the paintings in your best professional manner. You will offer a reasonable market price and pay by check. Then you'll get rid of Templar and the girl as fast as possible. I cannot do this act normally. I, I am too nervous. I do not like this business, monsieur. But we are playing for very high stakes indeed, over a million dollars. So if you fumble or betray us, madame will be shot. Please, madam. Please, Sherry. Monsieur, for both your sakes, cooperate. What is the going like? With women, Marcel's an amateur. But with art, he is an expert, so I wouldn't try telling him any fibs. Why should I? I'm telling you why you shouldn't. Try, monsieur. Please. Well, may I present Mademoiselle Natasha Ivanova? Monsieur, I've looked forward to this meeting for so long. Mademoiselle, um, this way, please. Oh, what a lovely room. Thank you. Please sit down. Uh, Marcel, where's Madame Lagonde? I haven't met her yet. L Lucille, uh, she's, uh, she's dining with friends. What's the matter? Better? Are they 
Gave you a bad time today, didn't they? Uh, yes, I, I was upset. I, I still am. Well, never mind. These will cheer you up. They're from a collection owned by Natasha's grandfather. He smuggled them out during the revolution. And cry up. Fantastic. The suspense is killing me. Well, they are certainly genuine. What I cannot understand is how they came to be in the possession of someone called Ivanov. These are from the collection of Prince Alexei Voronov. And where is he? He was shot during the revolution. None of his pictures were ever seen again, neither here nor in Russia. It was thought that his collection was destroyed. What was that? <laughs> My uh, cat. You see, mademoiselle, these pictures have a pedigree. Uh, they, they were Prince Alexei's. Uh, my grandfather was his bailiff. Uh, the prince gave them to grandfather because after the revolutionaries came, oh, they would have destroyed That's when the uh, Volga boatmen were rowing the harbor. Simon. That's my name. But Ivanova's not yours, is it? It's Gottfeld. What are you talking about? Oh, I didn't speak Russian to you in the car, but you wouldn't understand because you're German. Very clever. Wait a minute. It does not matter if the lady is German or Russian or Japanese. None of the Voronov family are alive to claim the pictures. Meaning you'll buy them? For five million. Francs? Done. Any cigarettes in here, Master? Oh, wait. Uh, here. Thank you. There you are, mademoiselle. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. And now, Simon, you must forgive me. I had a very long and tiring day. I must go to bed. Marcel, in view of what's happened, wouldn't it be better if we stayed the night? Oh, no, no. I, I should be quite all right. Why don't you ask the police to put a man outside the gate? Uh, yes, I will do that, I promise. Good night, Monsieur Legault. Oh, thank you more than I can say. Thank you. I'll call you in the morning. Congratulations, monsieur. You did very well. Have Mons bring the car around. Get the trunk in here. Get your wife a coat, monsieur. Coat? So that you don't do anything foolish. We must take her with us. I have news for you, Mother Russia. That check is no use at all. The Grand was scared stiff tonight, and his wife wasn't dining with friends. She had taken coffee and brandy with him. Conclusion, they had visitors. Them. Them, and before I stick my neck out for you again, I want the whole truth and nothing but. Otherwise, I resign. Oh, no, 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 I, I will tell you. It, it, it's a long story. Well, you'd better tell me en route. Where? <laughs> Darling, the object of this caper is either pictures or money. And at the moment, we have neither. Not another inch until you get to the point. Well, my father was a colonel in the German army. And when they invaded Russia, he occupied an old castle. Prince Alexis. And waked up in the cellar, he found the paintings. I found them. Hacking my way through a cellar wall with a pickaxe. Come here. I show them to my colonel, the girl's father. And he says, these priceless works of art must be sent to our beloved Fuhrer. The lying swine kept them for himself. Right, get the trunk out of here, into the car. Oh, 
wait here. Three months ago, by a million to one chance, I learn where the girl is living. I write to her, ask her to share the paintings. She agrees I have a moral right at least to something. But when I go and see her, she is gone. She has left the country and brought the paintings to France to sell. Oh, now you know. Come, madame. Please do not take my wife away. I will do nothing, I promise. When we are safely out of France, your wife will be released. I don't want to use force. Simon Temper, excuse me. Well, gentlemen, we uh, meet again. For the last time, Bernard. Can't we settle this amicably? Oh, very amicably, because we have two guns. <laughs> oh, monsieur, madame, sit, if you please. You, sit. Now, you will all stay here under Bernard's uh, care. Mr. Templer, this way, if you please. Simon! Ah, now the party is complete. You will come with us, mademoiselle. Please. Manners. Oh, pardon. Well, comrade, just which team are you on? <laughs> ah, Special Security Corps. Attached to the Hermitage Museum, Leningrad. My uh, job is to recover works of art looted from Russia during the war. My methods vary. Sometimes uh, I appeal to the heart. Sometimes I buy. Sometimes uh, I steal. Sometimes he hits people over the head when their backs are turned. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry about that. Nevertheless, the Leonardos once belonged to Prince Alexei Voronov. Now they belong to the Russian people. He does have a point. My father found those paintings. He kept them for more than 20 years. Your father looted them. Comrade, uh, suppose you pay Natasha 10% of their value. No. Surely she's entitled to something. She's entitled to nothing. That's what I like. Compromise. Oh, never mind. I'm sick of the whole business. Let him take them. They're in a trunk in a car outside. I know. That seems to be that, then, doesn't it? Presumably, we're free to go. Oh, but of course. Well, there's uh, nothing left to do but say good night. Good night, Mr. Templer. And uh, good luck. The same to you. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> I took a leave from your notebook. While all that was going on back there, I took the paintings out of the trunk. They're in the back of the car now. <laughs> you know, I don't understand you, Mr. Templer. Well, it isn't that I object to doing the fair thing. It's just that I don't like being forced to do it at gunpoint. <laughs> well, uh, there you are. 20% of the value of the paintings. One million francs. Oh, thank you, comrade. I uh, may take them now. With our combined compliments. Thank you. A lot. <sighs> Mr. Templer, <laughs> it's been a pleasure. You know, I could use a man like you. Well, the next time I'm unemployed, I'll uh, call you. <laughs> I hope so. Goodbye, mademoiselle. Goodbye. Well, at least I got a million francs out of it. Half a million. You mean you are going to take half? I earned it. 
every single centime. <laughs> Must say you do take reverses with admirable good nature. Oh, I despise greedy people. Oh, yes, quite. Simon, what about Van Dykes and Rubens? Do they fetch good prices? Very, why? Darling, the Leonardos were just the beginning. There are plenty more where they come from. <laughs> <laughs> 